What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Matrix21, back with a new episode of Fresh Kicks, where we have upcoming sneakers, and I give you the release information and general knowledge of the sneakers. But before we get into it, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell as well, so you never miss a video. Check out my X page at Matrix21, and my Etsy shop at TD Made It, both links down below in the description. But enough of that, let's go, let's get to the kicks. So today we're taking a look at the Barbie and Reebok collaboration. I'm a little bit late because it's, it drops today. But better late than never. So let's talk about this Barbie Reebok collection and what's going to be dropping. So let's go. Part one is breakdown. We break down the overall look of the sneakers, colors, materials. We just kind of talk about the overall look of the sneakers. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So we have three pair coming in adult and kid sizes. Three pair of different Adidas. Should be, I mean, Reeboks, I'm sorry. Should be pretty decent, like I said, for the women and the kids out there. So, you know, it's, you got a little bit of variety. And if you're a Barbie fan, it's definitely something you may want to pick up. But like I said, we have three pair dropping, and here are the three pair. They all look pretty decent. They're very different from each other in the different kind of aspects of life. Some uh, lifestyle shoes, and another one is a running shoe. So you get a little bit of a different kind of variety when you talk about these sneakers, which is pretty good. I love variety in sneakers, especially when you drop in collaboration. Don't make them all look too similar. Don't make them all look so obvious. So the first one is the Barbie Reebok BB 4002. Uh, the colors for this one are black, black, and pink paradise. So pretty simple. You have black, you have white, and you have that pink on it. So it looks pretty decent. Price point for these is 100 bucks, which is not bad at all. I don't know. For the Reebok, uh, the BB4002 lows, uh, I think maybe they could be a little bit under 100 bucks, maybe 90. But it is what it is. 100 bucks, not a bad price, but still is a, a decent looking sneaker. For me, if these are the best ones, in my opinion. I get this a 7 out of 10. And I think people would go for these. This may be the, I think this will probably be the second one they'll go for. I think the white one we will talk about right now is uh, probably the one that people most likely would go for if they're playing, trying to buy these sneakers. So this is a Reebok Club C Extra, because extra, because it's like a thicker sole, it's more of like a platformer type sneaker. Uh, the colors for this one are Chalk Chalk and Astro Rose. And these are 110 bucks, a little bit more than the other ones, but still dope. Still a pretty dope concept, and like I said, I like that they're doing this for the women and the kids out there, the girls out there that may want to get these sneakers. I think it's dope. Like I said, 110 bucks ain't bad at all for these. I think this could be because it's a little bit extra, a little bit thicker. So I think that that price point is warranted. Me personally, I think these are six out of ten. Not the best, not the worst, but it's just not not in my eyes of a sneaker fan. Uh, something that I would say is really dope. You know what I mean? Not something, but it's not for me, so that's why. So last but not least, we have the Barbie Faux Zig One. Colors for this one be Pink Paradise, Pink Paradise, and Astro Rose. So basically, you have some pink, white, and some purple on it. This one is definitely out there. It's a running shoe, so it's definitely not going to be for everybody. Price point for this one is 130 bucks. And I think this one has less Barbie branding than the other ones. You do have a little bit of Barbie branding on the tongue, but overall, you don't have a whole lot going on as far as branding for Barbie. Still a, a, a pretty out there looking sneaker. You know, it's, it's a really out there looking sneaker, so I'm going to give it a five out of ten. Definitely not my favorite. If, if I had to pick a, one of the three, definitely going to last place, but, you know, and I don't think this is going to be a sneaker that people really go for. I think definitely that white one or the black one. So now let's get to the release information. So like I said earlier, these are set to release on September 20th, 2024. Reebok.com and select retail Reebok retailers always should be able to find these. And the price point of these various, like we talked about earlier, 110, 100, and 130 bucks. Those are in the women's sizes. And kids sizes, of course, that price point comes down. So like I said, these are very these are for the whole family, women, kids, and stuff like that. You can go all the way down to them, especially the first two pair, the uh, the four thousands and the extras. So definitely the ones I think those will be the ones that are gonna sell out the most. So it is what it is. So what are your thoughts on these? Let me know in the comments below. Do you like these? Would you pick these up? If you would pick these up, which one of these are your favorite? Just let me know down below in the comments. But that's all I have for you on this one. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell as well so you never miss a video. This is your boy Matrix21. Peace. Talk to you all later. Bye.